Hey girl, so I decided to switch it up a little bit for today's video. So for today, I'm going to be doing, of course, a wig install, but I'm going to be doing a wig install on a non pre plucked hairline. So I wanted to do this video for the girls who might get a wig and they don't know how to pre, they don't know how to pluck their wigs, their wigs didn't come pre plucked, and just basically like how to still make it work regardless. Before we actually get into it, uh, I wanna give a big shout out to Recool Hair for sponsoring today's video. Um, this is their 13 by four um, deep wave or yeah, deep wave lace frontal wig. Of course, all the tea will be below in the description bar. So anyways, let's get into it, let's talk about it. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at the hairline on the wig. You want to see what it's giving. So after you have examined the hairline, go ahead and do your basic styling, which is defining the part or creating a part in, on the wig where you want the part to be in the wig. I don't know why I made that so long. Anyways, girl, part your hair. So I'm going to be doing a middle part. And so when you don't have like um, a pre-plucked hairline or your wig is not plucked, you want to create like a scalp effect on a wig, if that makes sense. That's just going to give a real natural look. So like see how I'm pulling out baby hairs on the side? It helps give out like a, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like a more thin natural look even though the wig is not plucked and then I'm going to show you guys a little later in the video how to finesse um, the hairline too to get like the scalp to pop a little bit more on the wig so yeah so basically like without this hairline being pre-plucked like as you can see it gives a straight line so when I go in and I pull some baby hairs out on the side it gives a little bit more dimension to the hairline um, which then also makes it look a little bit more natural so when it comes to um, securing your wig down with a um, non-plucked hairline you can use glue gel hairspray or nothing at all it's a preference thing it's whatever you feel comfortable with now because this wig isn't pre-plucked I feel more comfortable using spray because it just makes the hairline look a little bit more smoother now because this texture on this wig is on the deep side I am going to go in with the wax stick and smooth out the hairs just so that you can really see that part see how much better that looks already so like Make sure you know the style that you're going for first before you even start looking at the hairline and messing with anything. Like if you know you're going to do a middle part, have that in your head and then, you know, start trying to achieve the look with the middle part, if that makes sense. So like basically, basically when you have your part, it gives you a lot more leeway on what you can do with your wig. So now I'm going to be adding some baby hairs because I feel like with a hairline like this you need baby hairs because it's just going to take away that wiggy look so I went on ahead and cut the baby hairs and I'm just using some gel to swoop in the baby hairs now mind you because the hairline is not plucked the baby hairs is on the thick side but hey again that's a preference thing I've seen like people wear thick baby hairs thin baby hairs no baby hairs it's all about what you like again this video is for someone who don't have the time to pluck a wig and did not get a wig that came pre-plucked so um, I'm just showing you you know how to finesse it and how to make it work girl and, and you know to still make it give at the end of the day so yeah so the baby hairs in the middle part has already elevated the wig um, to look much better than a wig <laughs> And of course, you want to go in and cut as much lace off as possible. Now, this is um, on a HD lace. I did have a little bit of issues blending the lace, but I used a little bit more of the hairspray, and that seemed to have helped with blending in the lace. So if you run into this issue with your wig, just use a little bit of hairspray in the end of a comb, and you should be good. So, like, look, the wig has already pretty much transformed, y'all. So now that I got the base of the wig done, which is... The part and the hairline I'm going to go in to defining this middle part a little bit more I'm going to pluck the um, middle part which I really didn't have to do but I did feel like it would take some of that fullness away on top
of all, I love how big this hair is. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer and just clean up that part and just make it look a lot more visible on the wig. Like, look at that, y'all. You can't even tell this wig came the way it did at the beginning. So adding concealer definitely helps elevate. Do I even want to say elevate? I think enhance. That's the word I need to use. Enhance. It enhances the look on the wig. Like, girl, look at that. I'm telling you, this is what you need to do to take your wig there, honey. <laughs> so once you get that down pack, y'all, it is time to move on to styling the wig. Now, this is a deep wave texture, so I'm just going in with some hair mousse. I don't want to use water because I don't want the hair texture to be weighed down. I don't want like that wet look. I want the hair to look like, I don't know, like it's wet, but it's not wet. And it's not like the pattern hasn't drastically changed. Like I want these big waves that's in the hair. And I know if I add water, it's going to make the waves a lot more smaller and defined. And I don't want that. I want that big fluffy look. So that's why I'm just only using mousse. surprisingly I love this wig and how it turned out oh my god I was not expecting for this wig to look this good I'm not even gonna lie I was not expecting for this wig to transform the way it did so yes I'm loving the texture loving how I finessed the um the basic hairline on this wig so I'll make sure I leave all the tea below in case you decide to purchase this wig and I hope this video helped someone who maybe don't know how to pluck their wigs but you know don't even want to really do it either so um, this is just another way that you can still make your wig look good without having the skills of plucking your wig thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next tip video